Hi guys, today I'm going to do a video on my ghost experiences. I've already done, I think, two, but um, things have happened lately, more than that. Um, so I'm going to share my newer ghost experiences. Um, also, this is for Corey because he is interested in ghosts and things just like I am. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with the most recent one that happened to me actually today. Um, so I was sitting at the computer, like I always am, like who isn't nowadays. Uh, I was watching Charmed on Netflix. I'm trying to watch every freaking, okay, that has nothing to do with the ghost. Um, but I was just sitting there watching Charmed and there was this like black shadow by a coat rack that's behind her couch and it just it walked and my brother has seen it too today and the thing is in like my house in my family or whatever if we see a dark shadow or if we see anything that's like that that means something's going to happen either bad or good I don't know um hopefully it's good because we've had way too many bad things happen but if I see it again then I'll know something bad's going to happen so that's the first, the most recent. Um, the second most recent um, thing ha that happened to me, let's see. Um, okay, yeah, this was in the summertime, and I heard this weird noise outside my window, and I didn't know what it was, because I, I live on the, crap, my dog's barking. Um, I live on the third floor, so there's... It's not like someone can knock on my window or anything, or I can, like, look out there and see somebody. No. Um, I went, I looked outside, and it looked like two two little kids, or two figures, or two, I don't know what they were, staring up at my window. And it scared the living hell out of me. I ran into my mom's room, and I told her what was going on, because there was, it was so scary, because I had just got done reading story about black-eyed children. I don't know if it was all in my head that I saw those two freaking kids outside staring up at my window. Mind you, they were not moving at all. They were just standing there. You know how when people just stand still, they, they, what's it called? They, you know, move or wiggle or whatever because you can't stand perfectly still. Those bitches were not moving at all. And then when I came back to, to look out there to show my mom or my sister and my sister, I mean, um, they weren't there anymore. I, I went outside because the, the stairs are over there and I could have looked to see if they were there and no one was there. It just scared the hell out of me. Actually, that was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me um, as, as of late. I've never had anything of that experience before um, that I would see something stand there and not disappear because normally when I see something is standing somewhere, it's either they disappear or they just go super fast. Um, I hated that one. Um, let's see about another one. I know that there's a lot that happened. Um, okay, this is a little weird. My mom died recently and, you know, that's sad. Um, but me and my dad were in the store and they, ne and they play music. You know how they play music on the, um, radio and stuff in the store. Um, and all of a sudden, my mom and dad's wedding song comes on. And they never play this song, ever, in the store. Like, we've never heard it. It's, um, shit, You Were the Wind Beneath My Wings, or Wind Beneath My Wings by Bette Midler. Um, that was their wedding song, and it was playing on the store thing. And it's, n they never play that song in the store, ever. I've never heard it. And me and my dad just looked at each other like, oh my god, that is scary as hell. That's not scary, but it's, you know, it's, I guess it's cool because maybe she's showing us that she's okay, um, or something. I don't know. It was just, um, really, really, it was weird. It was shocking. I, I didn't really think anything like that could happen. I've heard stories about that type of thing happening to others with, um, about loved ones who passed away and they show little, um, little, what's that called? shit little you know what I mean little things to show you that they're okay or that they're with you um, let's see I know I have a lot more okay so yeah okay so I tell you I hear I told you I heard tapping on my window I still hear that I still hear tapping on my window and I really don't know what it could be I live on the third floor like I said and nothing could do that not even like 
a fucking squirrel. Like, if a squirrel were to be jumping at my window because it's a dumbass squirrel, it'd be dead because it would fall. Um, I don't know what it is. Like, it's cr I do have a tree outside my window, but it's far enough away that nothing can hit it. Only on very windy nights I do hear it smacking the roof. But that's, um, that's only if it's super windy. It's not super windy on the other nights that I'm hearing this thing tapping my window. Um, sometimes it's really loud and it scares the hell out of me. Um, let's see, another one. Hmm. Okay, um, like I said, my mom passed away um, recently and me and my dad were in his crappy truck that does not go five feet in front of him. Um, does not go five feet, like it goes like half a mile and then it's dead. Um, so we made it to the store. It, we were lucky to make it to the store, which is a mile away from here. Um, anyways, when we got to the store, I heard this weird wheezing sound in the back of the car. Like this, like, <gasps> sound. And my mom, she was on a ventilator. Or she had just gotten off the ventilator the day she died. Um, so, and she was wheezing a lot, um, on the, all the other days when she wasn't on the ventilator. She, uh, yeah, what's that called? Um. When you inhale fluid and you evaporate or something, I don't know. Um, she ha she inhaled blood, and that's what made her go into the uh, first time she was intubated, and then the second time she was intubated, she had a heart attack. But the first time she got intubated, they took her off of it, and she was wheezing a, a lot. So I don't know if that was her, or if it was just some like we were just feeling really, really upset, and maybe we're just remembering sounds, but my dad heard it too. Um, he didn't know what it was either. I had hair in my mouth. <laughs> um, anyways, um, and also, I keep on hearing crying. I keep on hearing a girl crying. I don't know if it's my mom crying, because I know it's her fear. She's been always having, um, nightmares of uh, when she was alive, she told me that she had nightmares, that she could, she would always scream. She could not scream, I mean, in her dreams. Like, if she wanted to scream for hope, she couldn't scream. And I'm afraid that she's with us right now, screaming, trying to get our attention, and we can't hear her. And I thought I was able to hear spirits and see spirits, but I guess I'm not if it's my family members. Of course, I can hear the fucking creepy-ass shit that's scary as hell, but I can't hear my own mother. That's ridiculous. I get you. Well, she only visits me in dreams. I know that. And so does my grandmother. Um, maybe that's the only way I can contact her. But she's always either my dreams are different ways that she dies or that she's evil. But she did contact me once and say that we're going to, um, each one of us are going to see her in our own time when we're ready. Um, and I don't know what that means. I'm ready now, but, um, uh, maybe she, she'll know when we're ready. Um, but she did, she did say that, and that was kind of encouraging, kind of, you know, hopefully she's okay. Um, yeah, she was on the couch that she would lay on because she couldn't sleep on her bed because she had to sleep sitting up because she had a heart attack and she was having a hard time breathing. Anyways, back to ghosts. Let's see. What other ghost experiences? I've had so many in my life, um. Okay, this one I've never, I don't think I said in the other video, but if I did, I don't care. Um, this is probably the last one because I don't know how long this video is. Uh, let's see. Uh, in our house in California, it was really haunted. It, there was always shadow people and olden time people going into our closets. Uh, just creepy things, weird things. Um, so I randomly thought I saw like a toy lizard underneath our cabinet thing. It was a really, really tall cabinet, and I told my dad to op to lift it for me. Um, he did, and it looked like a toy lizard, like one of those fake dollar store, dollar store lizards. Not a real one. It was not real. I swear to God. I went, I saw it. I swear I saw it. And I went to go touch it, to grab it, and it just shot. It just either got, it looked like it went into the wall so quick. I don't know what it was. It disappeared in front of my eyes. And my dad thinks that I'm making this up. Like, I was young. That could not have happened. It could just be one of those lizards that are always in California that are quick as hell. 
But you know what? I don't think that's it because it looked fake as hell. It looked like one of those rubber ass, really poorly made alligator toys. And um, it was, it just disappeared. Um, and I keep on telling my, my family this story, but they keep on thinking I was, I was just imagining things because little kids have big imaginations. But I don't believe that kids, I think kids are more open to the spiritual world than adults are. I would bet my tongue. Ah, uh, don't say adults with your, don't bite your tongue when you say adults. Oh, God, that hurt. Um, what's that called? What I was, what was I saying? Kids are more open to spirits than adults are. Um, but I've always been taught growing up that spirits are real, um, and stuff like that. Uh, so, I truly believe that they are real, so, yeah. Some adults are sensitive to it, and they don't even know it. Um, anxiety, I'm giving you some advice now, I, I didn't even tell you. Um, anxiety or panic attacks could be linked to, well this is what I've heard, um, could be linked to um, being an empath or a medium because maybe the medium side of you is picking up spirits um, energy that maybe that spirits nervous or doesn't know where they are or something like that. That can also make you feel really, really claustrophobic at times. You don't want to be in uh, the dark, which I can't be in the dark. I have these pretty orange lights in my room because I'm terrified of the dark. Um, so, Corey, this is all. This is for you. Maybe your daughter um, is a medium or a empath or something. If you know what an empath is, you probably do because you're into the things I am. But. You know, okay, here's a thing what your daughter can do, and I maybe you can tell her to do this. Tell her to picture a door right here and picture it shutting. That's shutting off the energies or off the um, spirits to not talk to you. And also to think of a white light around her. Tell her to think of a white light around her um, all day and whenever she feels scared or panicky to think of that. Um, also before she goes to sleep, think of the white light around her because that that'll probably calm her down. It makes her think. It makes you think just of the white light, not of anything that's going to bother you the next day or bother you right now. Yeah, so do the door thing, shutting. Don't lock it because you might want to open it someday. Um, and the, um, the, and the, fuck, what's the white light? Just white light around you. You can do this too, um, because, you know, it runs in the family, so. You can think of a white light around you. I do this constantly. Um, it was my grandma's technique. It's not just my grandma's. It's a technique for a lot of people who have abilities like that. Um, anyways, uh, this video is probably a million minutes long. I just wanted to share my ghost experiences and share my, I guess, knowledge and psychicness, I guess. Um, if you want to know more about something, leave a comment down below. I can't speak. Um, and ask me and I'll ask, answer your questions <laughs> and I'll answer your questions. I can't be funny at all. Um, okay, so uh, hope to see you soon, Corey. Bye.